Thank you. They call them the ghost estates of Ireland, about 300,000 homes built in the frenzy of the property boom that no one wants to live in now. Soon, many brand new houses could be demolished. Paul Henley reports now from County Carlo. People in Ireland are asking how it could have come to this, how so many homes were built for buyers that simply never existed. You can see why they call these ghost estates when you peer into an unwanted show home and walk down a street like this one. There should be cars parked here, there should be children playing, but it's eerily silent. And every one of these brand new homes is completely empty. There are 600 ghost estates like this one. One in five Irish homes now lies empty, a monument to the whirlwind of property speculation that took grip here. The bulldozers ground to a bankrupted halt. The immigrants who drove them have gone home. Now the government is investigating how much new property it'll have to start knocking down. At the height of the, the Celtic Tiger years, there was too many homes being built in the wrong parts of Ireland for all the wrong reasons, fueled by tax incentives, fueled by policies that really concentrated on the quantity rather than the quality of what we built. New luxury development of fine family homes. Five bedroom houses sprang up in isolated towns nobody had ever thought of commuting from before. The scheme is ideal for those in search of the good life. Deirdre moved her family 50 miles outside Dublin to find she was on an estate with no neighbours. We were under the impression that, you know, it was like you couldn't get in quick enough, you know, the houses were all sold and great, here we go, new life in the country. It's really hard to see light at the end of the tunnel. The houses are getting older and older and you're wondering who's going to buy a house that's actually four years old and where is that going to put you in your future? I mean, theoretically, you know you're paying a mortgage on a house that's valueless, essentially, because there, how can you put a value on something when there's, you know, 75% unoccupancy? Only two years ago, ordinary Irish people queued overnight to sign mortgage deals for homes now worth less than half what they were. There's disbelief and the question, who's to blame? Well, the politicians who said house prices will never fall. The estate agents who said, if you buy this, you will get rich. The banks who said, don't worry, we'll finance anything. And now, in a way, a lot of people, myself included, think, God, we were conned. The harsh reminder of that con trick is going to be around for years. Ghost estates, where there used to be green fields. Paul Henley, BBC News, Ireland. Juliet joins us with the latest.